So just, just a real quick helicopter view of, uh, could you just give the, the real top line messages from your presentation, please? Top line messages are start with the customer, make sure we've got a very customer centric uh, approach that's grounded in what they want and need at different stages of their customer life cycle and their purchase and, and, and product life cycle. And then take that into a very joined up conversation over time across multiple channels. So if you start with a customer, make sure you're delivering the information they need at the right time by the right channel, then you won't go far wrong. You say you won't go far wrong. It sounds quite scary. You know, everyone's talking about cross-media integrated channels. I mean, it, it... it is. I think if you, do, if, if you get a plan, the key is if you understand what you're trying to achieve, then you can incrementally implement that. You don't have to do everything at once, but if you come up with a good customer-centric comms plan that delivers the right information at the right time, then you might start with direct mail as the key channel, and then you might move into email, it might be in, into the website. So you can do this gradually and incrementally and phase it, but you do have to start off with that reference point. You do have to know in the long term where do you want to go and have a bit of ambition about that. Otherwise, you're always, I think, un underwhelming your customers. So you. There is a strategic journey over time, but you can slice that up into manageable bite-sized chunks. Okay, so that, that's your key, ma key, key message for the, for, the, for the members. So what, what's your general impression of DScoop and why, why have you specifically chosen? I know, I know a couple of your members very well who do this kind of thing and, and, and get the need to understand the context, the bigger picture in which they're operating in, so that they can make digital print and traditional print sing within that. So they're very circumspect and mindful of that bigger picture, which is absolutely the right thing to do, because that's the, the, the world that customers are operating in and that's the world that brands are operating in. So I work with a, a couple of members in the UK that are very much uh, doing this kind of thing, and I'm helping them hopefully to have that kind of perspective. Um, and I think if you, can, if you understand that bigger picture, you're much better placed to spot the opportunity for the personalised digital print pack, for the integration with the direct mail programme or the catalogue and the brochure programme and understand the bigger picture. When you, when you talk about the bigger picture, does the bigger picture mean the future? It does, yes, and, and, and particularly the new media and channel opportunities that are emerging, particularly around social and mobile. But just because there are new channel and media opportunities, it doesn't mean that the old channels are any less important. Customers are still customers. They still want the right thing at the right time via the channel of their choice. And you've got to, to design your programs on their terms. And so the future brings new opportunities, but the, the technology shouldn't blind us to the basic fundamentals of marketing, which is understand your customers, understand their needs, and de deliver to them in your product offering and in your communications and CRM offering, then you're in for a successful time. Andrew, thank you very much. My pleasure.